previously on the Cowboy Way, Alabama. Come on, big boys. Booger and Cody handled bull business while Bubba was out sick. Let them all go up there. Let them just load them straight. Hey! Hey, move! Speaking of bulls, Chick gave me a call this morning. What do you have to say? He said he's got a pile of bulls down in Louisiana. He also got a bunch of cattle down there they're fixing to start gathering out of that swamp area. Booger got a lead on a bull for Brett and a job that would give the cowboys some needed pocket change. Draw a check. Draw a check. Jack. Draw a check. You ain't kidding on that. The guys hit the open road. Road trip. The cowboys managed to squeeze in a few stops along the way. This is a cowboy candy store right here. It's called S Car Go. It's snails. Mm. Before getting to their final destination. We all decide we want the number 10 bull for Mr. Brett. Sounds good to me. And now, on this episode of the Cowboy Way. Look, we signed up for T-ball. How are we gonna have time to play any T-ball with everything else going on? Booger comes home to an unexpected surprise from Jacqueline and Matthew. Come play T-ball with me. If you wanna play T-ball, I'm all in. But after realizing family is more important than work. Good job, there you go. Booger steps up to the plate. Matthew, run fast. Faster, buddy, faster. That was really good. Welcome to the Alabama Department of Archives and History. The Cattlemen's Association sends Cody to the History Museum on a fact-finding assignment. We have your great, great grandmother and grandfather's marriage record from Conecuh County. And inspires Cody to get to the root of Booger and Bubba's family trees. Do they look anything like seriously right now? Look, look at them. A little bit, yeah. They do, don't they? Y'all need to do a test. You want to do it? Let's do it. We'll do it. We've been blowing and going every day, all day, and I'm just, I'm over it. I need a break, something needs to give. The Cowboys' commitment to the deal has them missing home. So I've been thinking of all three families need to get away. Just like a day for you guys to relax and clear your mind. So Kaylee and Bubba set up a day on the water to reconnect with friends and family. Booger, I got this for you, because I know how much you love your rubber ducky in the tub when you was a little boy. I'm proud you didn't need it before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fellas. Morning, boys. Morning. Hey, Morning. Hey, man. Thank y'all for putting us over last night. Not a problem. Not a problem. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. There's a couple reasons we come down to Louisiana. Mr. Brad asked us to get a bull. Booger's buddy Chick has a good bull. And plus, Chick needs some help rounding up some cattle. We can make some extra cash while we're down here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to send you guys around the cattle and the airboats and the Marshmaster. You two boys, put your ball caps on. Them hats are gonna blow right in the fan and they'll look like shredded wheat when they're done with it. <laughs> so you're gonna be on the Marshmaster. Uh -huh. The reason you're in the Marshmaster instead of an airboat is that way you can take that Marshmaster knees around them cattle if they really get in the marsh. Okay. And then we'll get horseback and we'll kind of hold the front end up. Y'all go around them and we'll start towards the pins. We'll go down the levee and go right into the pins. Okay. Ranching down in Louisiana is a lot different than Alabama. You have marshland and dry land. When them cattle get in the marsh, you can't get them out by horse. You got to go in by air, but the horses get bogged down. I mean, there ain't nothing you can do. If something goes wrong, you can't get them out. So you drive them cattle out of the marsh on the dry land by airboat, and then drive them the rest away the with horses. Say everything you need to say before you get on, because it's going to be loud enough ain't nobody going to hear you. Hey, that's my do best talk. That's, that's really when I want to be around you the most. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, this is going to be Louisiana style. It don't get no better than this. Yes, sir. Well, let's go. Y'all ready? We burning hey, daylight. Yeah, right, well, let's go. Right, 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 yeah. Let's go. Chick, get us out of your horse. I'm finna show you how to ride an airboat. <laughs> Everybody's got a job. Me and Booger are on the airboat. We're gonna ride around and push these, gather these cattle around. Where we can't go, Bubba can go on the Marshmaster. And he's really just kind of lagging behind looking for stray cattle. Our job is to push these cattle as far out of the marsh as we can so the guy on horses can push them across the levee. Over there to the left, go to the left, son. There's a cow right there. We need to make sure we don't leave any. Airboats are perfect for gathering cattle in this marsh country. Because you never know, you might be going through the water, a bunch of mud, or even dry ground, and an airboat can run on all of it. You know, when you're in this airboat, you gotta be paying attention. You got your driver up here, and he's paying attention to where this airboat's going. You need to be looking for cattle, because a lot of times, cattle will just squat out there in this brush, and you'll blow right by them on a boat if you're not paying attention. The cattle's heading towards the marsh. 
I would say the most difficult part of this job, these marshes are rough. They got canals, you got gators. I mean, you really don't know where your next turn, what's gonna be there. It might be a cow, might be a 12 foot alligator. Patrick, watch him on the far side. Can you see any calves? We gotta push these cattle from behind, that way they won't double back on us. The good thing is they're moving right along just if we had planned. These airboats, they make the job a whole lot easier. Now that we got these cattle all pushed up on the levee, we just gotta keep them from getting back into the marsh while we drive them to the pen. It's a pretty quick job out here on the marsh. I'd say it's a success. We got all the cattle to the right pasture. Nobody got eaten by an alligator. Not a bad way to cowboy. That's the last one. They're all on the levee. Well, guys, I guess we'd call that a wrap on this deal. We've got the cows pinned. Everything went pretty smooth. I'd like to tell you thank you for coming and helping us. We appreciate y'all having us down here. Was able to trade on a dang shore, a good bull. Well, you did a good job. Thanks for not killing me in that airboat, Patrick. Oh, no problem, man. Good, we we good did our best. That sucker will roll. Yeah, it was a little sticky and a little dry today, but we made the best of it. We got them pinned. All right, guys, well, let's head back to the ranch. We got a lot of work to do. Let's do it, man. We got to drive ahead of them. Enjoy it. Thank right, you. Thanks, thanks, wife and kids. Yes, sir. Enjoy it, everybody. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, 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 buddy. Thanks, bud. I'm glad we got all the cattle moved safely to the pasture where they belong. We got to pick up a nice bull for Mr. Brett, and we got to make a little bit of money on the side. Now it's time to get back to Alabama and handle our business. Well, shoot, shoot, shoot. What's the plan? Head home. I'm at home with Sarah Wise and kids in a minute. Man, we got to drive ahead of us. What's this we? We got to drive ahead of us. You drive me home. Here. I drove all the way here. It's your truck. So? Hey, but when we get home, we can't stay home long. I need y'all to come to Montgomery with me. Montgomery? Yeah. For what? I'm going to go up to the History Museum. I got my first assignment from the Cattlemen's Association to go up there and kind of see if the History Museum want to get more involved in the Cattlemen's Association. Kind of marry up, you know, be a sponsor. Cody, we don't have no problem helping anyone do anything. But you kind of signed on for this Cattlemen's Association, trying to be on the board and everything. Mm -hmm. And we still have cattle and life to look oh, no after. No doubt, no doubt. I, I, I ain't gonna press y'all. Just when we get a free day, we'll ease up there. They're very flexible. Cody wants us to visit the History Museum with him, and to be honest with you, we got a lot of work to do, but at the same time, it's for the Cattlemen's Association, so I'm all for it. I'll go turn the truck on, get the AC running. I'll be sitting there waiting on you guys. Backing up yeah. that chute, me and Harris will bring the bull. Come on, Harris, you gotta help. You know, looking back, this trip was so awesome. And we got the bull for Mr. Brett, we got this job done successfully, I got the road son, we met Mr. Ken Ray. I mean, it was just a great road trip, but I'm ready to get home and see my family. I miss seeing my little boy smile and hugging my wife and telling her I love her. I'll tell you one thing, that was the best steak I've had in a long time. And I walked out of that saddle shop with my wallet being a little lighter, but it sure feels good to be heading home. It's been a long time since I've actually had just a single night with my wife and daughter, and I'm ready for things to get back to normal. After four days of looking at Cody and Bubba, I'm really starting to realize just how beautiful Jacqueline and Matthew really are and how lucky I am to have them. But if I ever get a chance to eat more duck liver, I believe I'm going to do that. Coming up. Look, we signed up for T-ball. How are we going to have time to play any T-ball with everything else going on? Are you saying I shouldn't have signed him up for T-ball? I'm just saying we don't have time to do anything as it is. Well. Let's introduce old boy. I reckon. Let's do it. What you think, Brett? He's a little thin. Look who's home! <laughs> Daddy! Oh, home. Oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what are you doing, partner? Oh, mm, mm. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, I'm so glad you're home. Oh. Mm. Oh, Mr. Oh, oh. Being back at the house, sure enough, feels good. I mean, going to Louisiana was a great time and everything, but it sure is nice to come back to my family. So how did it go? We had a blast while we was out there. We got Mr. Brett Dye Ripple Bull, went by Ken Ray's place and looked at his saddles. Oh, really? Pretty cool, though. Pretty fun. Running around on our boats gathering cattle. Well, we've missed you. I missed y'all, too. Why is them socks so long? They're his T-ball socks. 
T-ball. Look, we signed up for T-ball. See? His shirt just came in today, so he wanted to try on this whole outfit. Turn what? around, show him the back. Show him the back, look. That's his daddy's old number. Well, that's pretty cool, but yeah. how are we gonna have time to play any T-ball with everything else going on? Are you saying I shouldn't have signed him up for T-ball? I'm just saying we don't have time to do anything as it is. This is the first year he can play T-ball. There's no way I would skip it. Booger seems annoyed that I signed Matthew up for T-ball. This is not the reaction I expected at all. I really thought Booger would be happy about doing a father-son activity. How are we gonna get him back and forth to the game and all this good stuff? I cannot even believe you're not excited. I thought you'd be super duper excited that he's gonna be playing ball. I mean, we've gotta make time for some things. This is a priority. I thought you were gonna be so excited. Well, I'm just thinking realistic how we gonna get him back and forth to practice in games. Why don't you want me to play T-ball? Matthew's big enough now to really start understanding an adult conversation, and I think he can tell that I'm not that thrilled about him starting T-ball. But it ain't that I don't want you to play T-ball. We just have a lot going on. I would love for us to be able to take him as a family, and that's how I pictured our life, taking Matthew to stuff like this and watching him together. We just got so much Dad, going on. don't you want to play T-ball with me? Do you really want to play T-ball? Yeah. You do? That hits me right in the heart. You know, that's the last thing I want him to do, is think I'm not going to support him. Come here, Matthew. You really want to play t-ball, buddy? Yeah. Come play t-ball with me. If you want to play t-ball, I'm all in. We can make time. We can make time to go have some fun for a change, can't we? Yeah. I'm really going to have to change my tune and step it up. I want him to know that I'm proud of whatever he's doing in life, and I'm going to support him 110%. I sure love my boy. I love his mommy, too. I'm glad that Booger's finally starting to get it, that this is something that's important to me, and it's something that Matthew really wants to do. And I know he's got a competitive side. The moment they start playing t-ball, Booger's gonna want to be involved. Mm, I like your new glove. That's a big old glove. We gotta get this thing broken in if we're gonna play t-ball, you know what? Have you been practicing any? Yes, sir. Hey, well, let's go get busy. If we're gonna play, we gotta be good. You can show him how good you can hit the ball. Okay. You can hit it really All right. far. All right, let's go. Hey, buddy, you want to hat? Yes, ma'am. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? Good. Well, welcome to the Alabama Department of Archives and History. Have you all ever been here before? No, no ma'am. We really wanted to get some history. I, I know my family's, most of my family's from Alabama. I want to see how far back it went. Today, I'm heading to the History Museum. And this is another assignment from the Cattlemen's Association. They want me to go up here and do a little bit of PR work. Going to this place today and just getting a chance to learn about some Alabama history and some of my history as well, I mean, that's perfect. Y'all ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Let's go. And this is the Museum of Alabama and our main galleries, which we have the uh, first Alabamians, which starts with the very first people who lived here in the Native American tribes that were here. These folks were expert hunters and they were using everything. Look, we're having competitions right there. Oh, that was Florida. This is really the centerpiece of the Museum of Alabama. I know you guys are interested in getting to the reference room, so we'll go ahead and take you downstairs now. Well, we really want to try to find something out about Cody's family. You bet. I'm looking forward to it, man. To the left behind you. All right. How you going to go, man? All right. I appreciate you. I appreciate you doing this. Yeah, no problem. End of our tour, it ends up in the research room. I am plum tickled to be able to come in here and learn more about my family history because I'm a history buff. I love history. We're gonna start with our county government records here at the archives. So we've done a little bit of background and we know that your family's originally from Conecuh County. Carly Ann has already pulled up a record for you. Yes. Really? We have your great, great grandmother and grandfather's marriage record from Conecuh County. Brooks, yes. John. You're a Brooks, Brooks and Black. So it looks like they got married in 1895. In 1895. To me, keeping knowledge of your family history and your roots is very important because that, that's your kin. Them are your people. And it's really important to me to keep up with that kind of stuff. Is there for anything us. we can do for them? They don't, I mean, they don't have any kinfolk. Y'all don't have any kinfolk from Alabama? No, I'm from, we're Florida boys. Since they're from a different state, uh, we wouldn't be able to get you any original records here at the archive since we focus on the state of Alabama. Sorry, guys. There's a lot of history in Florida about my family. Mine too. Bunch of Browns. All the Thompsons from Florida. Mm-hmm. Well, your, your mother's last name's Thompson. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. My wheel's starting to turn a little bit. All right, Bubba's last name is Thompson. Booger's mother's maiden last name was Thompson. They're both from Florida. You know what I'm saying? 
We got, I mean, I might be on to something here. More, don't even, I know what you're thinking. Y'all are both, wait, 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 do they look anything alike? Seriously, right now, look, look at them. A little bit, yeah. They do, don't they? Now that I think about it, y'all, look at y'all. Get over there, act like you got some sense, son. Look at them two. Look at the nose. I just, I just realized that. <laughs> I'm telling you, them two might be kin. That's crazy. I'm not related to Booker Brown. I can promise you that. Y'all need to do a test. We're not we related. We need to do a test. It's a waste of time. We got Why? stuff to do. Like what? Where are the museum? Well, like we're no blood, Harris. We're not related. Are y'all scared to do a test? We ain't scared. We just That's already scary. know it's a waste of time. What could it hurt? You want to do it? Let's do it. That's we'll so do it. Cool. Especially awesome. to get you to be quiet. Here goes another one of them crazy hairbrain ideas of Cody's. But if he wants us to do a test, hey, I ain't scared. I went my whole life taking risks and gambles and on new adventures. You can count me in on this one too. Thank y'all. They say this this bull right here, he, he he throws low birth weight calves, and I'm hoping that that's gonna happen, because I sure don't want us to have to pull one. So we've been working on this deal with Mr. Brett, and he's extremely happy with the cattle. He's also decided to keep some of these heifers back to turn into replacement heifers. And today we're gonna turn in this bull that we bought for him in Louisiana, and hoping everything goes well, and I'm hoping he's happy with the bull. I think this bull's gonna work out for you, Brett. He had a good price on him, so I figured that would that would sure help us out around here and definitely help you out. Absolutely. What about just a little bit of feed and keep these girls content for a minute where they can get to meet their new friend? They can meet their new friend. Well, let's introduce old boy. I reckon let's do it. And every day you get to meet 30 girlfriends at the same time. Mm -hmm. Come on here, boys. Good looking, Joker. I'm excited to see what happens. I am too. Well, I'm glad you like him, Mr. Brett. I do. You need to, he's a little thin. We put a little weight on him. Yeah. But uh, really and truly, I don't want him that heavy. No, sir. On top of these little 750 pound heifers. I've been doing this a long time. I've run a lot of help, and I had never had it this easy. You've done what you said you was going to do. I know we ran into a little snag with, you didn't like my old barn, but that gun, if you didn't turn around and make it work. That's a nice deal. I mean, that's a nice deal. Excellent job on taking care of the cattle. Brett's extremely satisfied with this bull. That's really exciting because we've been working really hard and the hard work's been paying off. Well, if they shipping off in about a week, you get to see some of that money you've been working for for the last seven or eight months. Huh? That's, that's, that's what we're excited about. Well, I me know. too, I'm, I kind of use it myself. <laughs> Good deal, man. It's full time. Let's do it. All right, buddy. And now the next step is to find a buyer. We've got to get that done quick. I believe he's gonna fit with him pretty nice, Bubba. I think y'all did good. Coming up. This is so silly. Me and Bubba's not related. Don't you want to know your genetic well, if you lineage? Already, well, you already found out your heritage. Why did you buy one? I want to go further. I want to, I'm, there's royalty in me somewhere. I'm, I'm just here to tell you. Some great philosopher I had. If I had to guess. Hey, babe. Hey, honey. How are you? Good, how are you? Hey, sweet baby. She just took her a long nap. Did she? Good, good. <laughs> These last few weeks have been really hard. We're either at work all day and all night, or we're on the road for work. And I've been missing my family. Ooh, you like the horsey? How's your day been? Just stressed out. These cattle are getting the best of me right now. I'm worried about getting them sold. We want to find one buyer to buy them all and get them shipped out. And we want to get a good price for them. But the way the market's been, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I'm really hoping that we get a good price for them and get them sold for bread. The more money we make on them, the more money all of us guys make. The board has been fluctuating a lot lately and not up, it's been going down. We won't receive a check until all the cattle are sold. That is if we can sell them. I don't know why you're gonna stress about it, babe. You know it'll work out in the end, it always does. You want your mama getting fussy? I'm probably not putting off good vibes anyways, Andy. We need a check because we've been doing all this work. We've been blowing and going every day, all day, and I'm just, I'm over it. I need a break, something needs to give. 
Well, I know y'all have been working hard, I mean, for a long time now, you know. So I've been thinking all three families need to get away. Just like a day for you guys to relax and clear your mind. The guys have been nonstop lately. They went to the chuck wagon races, they did some traveling, and they've been working so hard to make this deal work with Brett. Our husbands have been so busy that I think they're overlooking what's actually important here. I mean, what do you suggest? I was honestly thinking about a river day. I, I think that's a great idea. I love the river, and we used to do that all the time before we had Andy, and we hadn't taken her out there yet, so I think it's time to gas up the old river boats and head to the river. I know all three kids love the water, so they'll have a blast, and then us adults can just take a breather. So how about I reach out to the wives, and all of us will get all the food stuff, you know, we'll take care of all that, and then you get with the husbands and get the boat and the tents and the gas and all that good stuff. I can handle that. That won't be a problem. Well, I think that's a great idea, honey. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll go ahead and get up with the guys. You call the girls and we'll Never. get this thing planned. Love you. I love you. Let's go. I got y'all a gift. A gift? Boys, this is a DNA test. Personal genetic service. Find out what your DNA says about you through online genetic reports. Cody, why'd you go buy this junk? Look, man, you We're can choose related. your friends. You My can't last name is family. Thompson, his last name is Brown. Yeah, but he was a Thompson. They look so much alike and act so much alike. You know, they just don't like the idea of taking a DNA test. They just, uh, they're just a bunch of negative Nancys. Look, 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 okay, it says, is intended for non-invasive collection of saliva samples. I gotta fill this up with spit. Hang on before you do that. Everybody point to the fill line. This is so silly, me and Bubba's not related. How do you know? I've never really known anybody to be proven to be related just through a little bit of saliva. But I tell you what, is either just go ahead and do it and argue with Cody about it. Don't you wanna know your genetic well, you lineage? Already, well, you already found out your heritage. Why did you buy one? I wanna go further. I wanna, I'm, there's royalty in me somewhere. I'm, I'm just here to tell you, some great philosopher. I had, if I had to guess, you know. Let's just do it and get it over with. Let's do it. Cheers. Come on. Cheers. Y'all fitting to be kin. I'm so proud of y'all. The more Booger and Bubba resist me, won't not want to take the test, it just shows they're more like each other every day. I don't know what to say about your DNA test, but what I do know is mm -hmm. I got us something real cool planned to do. What? We're gonna go hit the lake this what? weekend, all of us. All of us cowboys and our families. Let's do it. Heck yeah. Jack Lynch, you're gonna be excited. I know, man. Hey, I'm gonna take Carter, my pawpaws, and my dad. So I have me, Carter, pawpaw, pawpaw, dad. We all going brim fishing in a couple days. That's cool. Before we go to the lake, so. He ain't gonna be able to swim brim fishing. They'll be able to swim down there at the lake. That's right, we'll bring some floats out there. We'll bring boats and Where do you wanna go to? Lake Jackson. Lake Jackson is part of the Yellow River watershed. Water drains out of Lake Jackson into the Yellow River, which leads down to Pensacola Bay. That place is so pretty. It's one of our favorite places to spend the day on the water with our families. Well, let's go, boys. We got work to do. Being you wasted all of our money, we're gonna have to go work double now. Help me clean it up. No, no, no. You take care of it, your idea. Y'all going by the post office? Buddy, we fix and play t-ball. I'm gonna make a ball player out of you. I promised Matthew I'd play t-ball with him. So today, I'm gonna make good on that promise. We're about to have batting practice in the front yard. Keep your hands together from here. Whack, okay? Okay. Hold on. Good job, there you go. I got it, you stay right there. Good hit, buddy. Matthew, that ball's way out there. I'm really tired. I didn't realize running down the ball was gonna be so much work. Okay, I will go get it. I thought we was gonna just work on Matthew trying to hit the ball today. He can hit the ball pretty dang good. I wish I'd have brought some more balls, cause keep running after this one, that's getting exhausting. You know what? What? I'm tired of running. So I got us a new little plan. What? Fixing to tie this ball on here, and then you can hit it Instead of me running it down, I'll just reel it back in. What do you think of that? That's a good idea. Get over here. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Look, you got to hit the ball that way, so stand right here. OK, ready? Ready. Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. This is one heck of an idea. 
You know, this is working out really good. This is cowboy ingenuity at its best. That's what you call using your head for something a little bit more than a hat rack. Whoop. Oh! I might need a helmet. Yeah, don't hold your bat. You see how you're holding your bat on your back? There you go. Hold it up there and hit the ball. Good job, buddy. You know what else you can do? What? You can even hit off the tee. Put it on there. <laughs> Look at there. Now I don't even have to hold it. I just sit here. Hit it. Oh, yeah. That was a good hit, buddy. Thanks. Look at that. I don't even have to run out and get it. Just pull him in like a big old bass. Get that fish. I got that fish. Oh, good job. I'm do that again. Coming up. <laughs> Matthew, go, 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 go. <laughs> Come on. It's funny. You're not laughing. No, he's out. He's missing the ball. Look at what I got caught. Look what he's Look at got. That. Look at there. That's Connor's gonna catch a fish. Look at there, boy. Connor's gonna catch a fish. Take that pose. Hey, thanks, Popo. I've been on a real history kick lately. And to celebrate that today, I'm gonna take my dad, both my pawpaws, and Carter, and we're gonna have our first four-generation fishing trip. We're gonna do me and dad fish, pawpaws fish together, have us yep. a tournament. Dollar for the first, dollar for the biggest, way it's always been. And dollar on the most. So dollar for the most, dollar for the biggest, dollar for the first. Where y'all wanna start at? You know, go down to Hanna Banana Beach. Hanna Banana. Yeah, Hell yeah. Right. Well, don't y'all get your hook in the water before I get there now. All right. That's pretty darn cool to have four generations out here fishing together. It sure is. Hey, hey, William, remember when you took Cody fishing when he was about six? He was gonna let the anchor out, and you just telling him, don't let the anchor out, because it wasn't tied off. And he threw the anchor out, and there went the rope. I'll never forget that. I went up there to Montgomery, the state capital. I ain't been long back from the Alabama State Museum. Learn about the history of the state of Alabama and all the different big family names. And find out we should where... be quiet, I'm trying to fish. <laughs> look, 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 look. Carter's look, getting a bite. Look. Carter's right. getting a bite. Hey, fish in the look, water. Look. look at him. Hey, All right. Look, 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 look at him. Look at that. Whoa, boy. Doug. What are you doing? All right. <laughs> <laughs> to be there with both my pawpaws and my dad and Carter to catch his first fish, I know that that was going to make my pawpaws day. I know it made my day. If I'll remember that for the rest of my life, my little boy catching his first fish. I appreciate y'all coming fishing like this. I hope we get to do this the next 10 summers in a row, 20 summers, 30 summers. You now bet. On. You bet. Ready to play today, buddy? Yes, sir. I'm so excited to see Matthew play his first t-ball game. They have been practicing twice a week, and he has been getting better every time. I'm so excited to see what he'll do out there. Come on, throw the ball. Go, go. Oh! Come on, guys. Good job. Get it, Matthew. Get it. Matthew, catch the ball. <laughs> Look at him being all goofy. Come on, Matthew. You can do it. <laughs> Matthew, pay Matthew. attention. What the heck? Hey, buddy, pay attention, OK? You know, we play ball. They run us to death. Look at that. Um, it's OK. They're only, like, four years old. They ain't paying attention. They're playing in the daggum dirt. They got to pay attention. I think they're doing really good for their age. You don't? Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, there's no major league scouts here, OK? It's going to be OK. <laughs> this first t-ball game I have been to, these kids are just running around everywhere. There's no organization. I don't even know what's really going on here. They're not keeping score. They're like a bunch of feral cats coming out of a trash can. They're going every which way. They need some structure. Oh, look, Matthew's doing the moonwalk. He's <laughs> dancing it up out there. <laughs> Get ready, Matthew! 
Matthew, pay Matthew. attention. Matthew, that ball just went right by you. He missed it because he was. He's out here moonwalking. I know, he missed the ball. Don't get mad about it. They're just little kids. I ain't, but he's out there moonwalking. The ball went right by me. He still hasn't seen it. I knew Booger had a competitive side, but these children are three and four years old. If Booger doesn't stop trying to coach from the sidelines, he's going to go in timeout. It's funny. You're not laughing. No, he's out there. He's missing the ball. He's singing. <laughs> Matthew, go, 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 go. Come on. What's wrong? Not, not just, I mean, the kids need to be paying attention. They're never going to get a chance at the ball. I don't see why you're getting so stressed out about this. I think they're doing a great job. Well, they are, but they got to pay attention. I'm glad you're a horse trainer and not like a kindergarten teacher. All Booger can do is focus on what the kids are doing wrong. This is supposed to be an encouraging, positive environment. Booger needs to get with it. Maybe you should go help. You know, you got all these opinions. Why don't you go help? It's volunteer, you know? Those coaches, they're outnumbered a little bit. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I think every kid needs one coach, maybe two. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna talk to Candace and Dylan to see if I can't get on there. Yeah. Not helping them. Good. Now you can see how challenging it is for those coaches to get those kids even to do what you just saw. Oh, there's no doubt. <laughs> Come on, let's go get a drink. Yes. Coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. We're fixing to find out if Booger and Bubber can. Hey, look here, look here. I knew this whole time. The results are in. Mr. Thompson, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. We're fixing to find out if Booger and Bubber can. History could possibly be made here in this very moment, right now. British and Irish, I knew that. French and German, 5% of me. What's your say, Bo? Says I'm British and Irish. How much percentage do you have in you from British? Mine's 66%, what are you? 66.3. The coolest thing that I see is my bloodlines date back to the Vikings. Bubba, how much Eastern European do you have in you? All I see is Northwestern and Southern. Hey, look here, look here. I come from Mary Antoinette. Now, y'all know who that is. I really don't know a whole lot about Mary Antoinette. But I know in the French history book, she's a pretty big deal. I'd be willing to bet if I'm kin to her, she's good looking too. But all I'm saying is this, I'm from royal blood. That's all I got to say about that. I knew I was from royal blood this whole time. One thing about it, it don't say me and Bubba is related. So now, I'm gonna get my money back in. You can quit pondering and worrying about the situation and you can get back to work. You only realize why he did this, don't you? What? Is that way he could see if he was out some kind of king and queen royalty. Well, thank you, Harris. I appreciate you doing yeah, that for us. You know, you guys cool. were so worried about being brothers. We knew from the moment we met that day, we weren't related. I knew I wasn't related to Booger. I mean, we're, we look totally different. He acts like a 12 year old, and I act 36. All I know is what I learned today is the fact that I come from royal lineage. Since you're royalty, you want us to go get you like a sandwich and bring it back to you? Well, actually, my stomach's hurt like a yogurt. All right, just you stay right here. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll bring it to you. Just hang right, hang tight we'll right there. We'll be right back. Appreciate you guys. No problem, buddy. <laughs> T-ball's a lot more about positive reinforcement than it is winning, and it takes all the parents to really enforce this on the kids. But as for me, I try to coach them the cowboy way, and that's get in there, try hard, and don't give up. I'm glad the other coaches were cool and didn't mind when he, like, jumped in there and wanted to coach, too. Matthew, throw it to first base, okay? Okay. Brian, you awake? Lucas, you awake? You should see him run them at practice. <laughs> <laughs> Makes him run bases. And... Judson, get it, son! Get it, Judson! Judson, what are you doing? All right, pay attention. Get right on the line. Y'all boys ready? Booger really looks like he's enjoying himself out on the field. I am so glad that he took this whole t-ball thing and ran with it. Matthew, catch the ball. OK. Matthew, catch the ball. Catch the ball, Matthew. 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 All right, everybody get a helmet on. Go, 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 go. Come on, Sophie, right here. That was good. Good job. Give me five, Sophie. Yeah. Good job. Matthew's on deck. Matthew, get your bat up. Pay attention. Watch him. Run, 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 run. Good job, buddy. Good job. 
I can't take all the coaching credit here. I mean, it's a team effort with all these other parents. But I know one thing. Being a cowboy, you got to give it your all. And that's the same way with T-ball. If you don't try your all, you're never going to win. Get ready, Matthew! Come on, Matthew, get up there. Oh, Matthew's up. Matthew's batting. He's ready. Oh, that little stinker. Matthew, put your bat back. Come on, Matthew, look at the ball. Hit it hard. Go, go, go. Run, son. Come on, come on, run. Matthew, run fast. That was really good. Good hit. Good foul. Over the last few weeks, it's clear that Matthew's practice has really started to pay off. He's really starting to understand the game more and more. All right, Matthew, get ready to run, okay? Pay attention. Go, 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 go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, go Matthew. Run, run. Run, run. You know, going to this t-ball thing, I was a little hesitant, but I'm really glad that Jacqueline pushed for it. Coaching these youngins and being part of Matthew's success, that's something that's real important to me. I can't justify putting it off at the right moment in time. This is it. This is the right time. Matthew! <laughs> Coming up, the cattle are doing good, but hey, if we don't sell these cattle for good money, we're gonna be out of the system. Well, the problem is that the market's been up and down so much here lately, it's got a lot of people scared. Oh, yeah. That's better, huh? This is the life right here. <laughs> here you go, this one's better. Today, me and Bubba have set up a day on the water for all the families. Bubba and I have two spots that we like to enjoy our time on the water, either Lake Jackson or the river. But Lake Jackson has this cute little kitty slide that I knew Matthew would love, so we decided to go here today. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm a pro at shoveling, Andy. <laughs> here comes somebody. It's Booger. <laughs> and what do you know? <laughs> you better move, Bubba. Look, there's Matthew, Andy, uh, girl, Carter and Andy. Hey, guys. Howdy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Horn kettle. Horn kettle. That a boy. <laughs> hey, Carter. Hey, Andy. Hey, Boog. Pop my rubber ducky now. Booger, I got this for you, because I know how much you love your rubber ducky in the tub when you was a little boy. I'm proud you didn't need it before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, joking ain't really Bubba's strong point. I mean, there's 10,000 comedians out of a job, and he's trying to be funny. But all joking aside, these last few weeks, we've been spending a lot of time away from the house. And a good, slow day like this, just spending it with our family and good friends, this is exactly what we've been needing to show us what we really have and appreciate. This is fun. Is it slimy? You can float around in that, Matthew. Go swim to Bubba. Ah! 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 Right, buddy. Kick, 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 kick. Go, you got it. Go. Swim, boy. Good job. Matthew, get my feet. Save get him. Hurry, Booger Spot and get him. Matthew, get my feet. Save him, Matthew, save him. You're almost there. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> what are you doing, my man? I got it. I got it. Yay, yeah, Matthew, save me. I was so worried. Ooh, he's running out there. Matthew, Matthew. Matthew, 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 Matthew. Mommy, watch your boy. I'm coming, baby. Yeah, buddy. Come on, Matthew. Now, you got this, baby. You got this. Hey, I'll hold your hand. Dad, hold on. Dad, would you please get over here? You yeah. have this. Yeah. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh, he's a strong boy. Matthew, come on, Matthew, Ready? Matthew. Go fast, boy. Set. Here we Yay. go. Wait. <laughs> that is not what I expected. That ain't quite what we was talking about. No, that's not what we were wanting. Come on. Come on. Now, would you get? Come on. Right here. Okay, jump. Oh. Come on. Dad, would you get? I'm right here. Yeah. 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 It is 
so nice that our husbands actually agreed to this day at the lake. All three families have finally gotten together. We're out here enjoying the kids and we're all making memories. These are the moments that I cherish. Matthew, now you get to sunbathe with Andy. <laughs> you know, things got tight around the house. I just sent two horses back. I've had them for 60 days training them. I've got that money and that kind of helps buy some bread, you know what I mean? Yeah, plus the money we got when we went to Louisiana and worked them cattle down there. Hey, that went straight to some bills. Yeah. If we yeah. don't get the cattle sold and we don't make any money, then all three of us are going to be walking around right here. That's how we're going to be able to walk through our house at night time right there looking around. Honey, are you over there? I can't find the bottle of milk because I can't afford to turn the lights on. My thing is we got to find a buyer. Everything's looking pretty good. The cattle are doing good, but hey, if we don't sell these cattle for good money, we're going to be out of the system. The problem is that the market's been up and down so much here lately, it's got a lot of people scared. All the families are having a good time, but when me and Booger and Bubba sit down to talk, it always leads to business. Well, the problem we're dealing with right now is we got the cattle ready. We just haven't sold them yet. We don't have a buyer. If you have all the cattle in the world and don't have nobody to buy them, you have nothing. We're going to get the cattle sold. I just need to get them sold for a profit. Well, I'll tell you one thing, fellas. If this deal doesn't go through, I can almost guarantee that Brett Dalrymple will not partner with us again. There ain't no doubt. What are they talking about up there? They look so serious, like we're supposed to be having fun today. They need to come on and have a good time. Get we're up. not going to put up with this. You know, in the worst case scenario, we break even. That's my Break even, well, We can't be breaking even. Guys. I totally agree with you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, are y'all talking business? What are y'all doing? Talking about business. Now, this is family day. Talking about selling cattle. What's up, my man doing? We're supposed to be having fun. You know, we're kind of worried about things. We ain't got our cattle sold yet. All these mouths to feed. Y'all know it'll work out. It always does. Look, let's just have fun today. Y'all could deal with it tomorrow. That's right. I agree. You know you're right. Today's got enough worries. Well, maybe we should get over and build a fire. Heck, we can roast some of these marshmallows y'all want to. Hey, and I tell you what, we got some hot dogs, too, we can roast. You oh, bet man, you. I can just about eat a hot dog. You want a hot dog, man? Yeah, too. I ain't yeah. no hot right. dog. I'll, I'll get it going, guys. I'll get, get that fire started, Bubba. A day at the lake is something that needs to happen way more often. Us being together and us watching each other's kids grow up is exactly what we need to be doing. Yeah, Thank man, you. like you eat a raw <laughs> weenie every now and then. I'm going to show you something. Oh, you boys only got two done. That's how you do it, right? <laughs> Did you see that? You're such an overachiever there, Bubba. <laughs> Here, just take the whole bun, honey. Don't pick at it. I am so glad that I pushed for this day out. There is nothing more important in life than to spend time with your loved ones and make new memories. I really think the guys needed a little bit of a reminder of that. Kaylee, Bubba, I appreciate y'all putting this on for us today. You're welcome, buddy. Absolutely. Bye, everybody. We're glad to be here. Hey, man. we don't get to do it very often. Ever. Ever. It's just nice to be able to relax. Enjoy ourselves while the sun's still out. I'm very thankful that Bubba and Kaylee put this day together for us. We needed this to slow down and realize what's more important is our family, our time together, the fellowship that we have with one another, our friendships, and just, just slow down and enjoy life a little bit. Because if we don't, I mean, life's going to pass us by. Did you take the kids? Oh, wow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> <Dude. laughs>